Hi everyone, it's Karen here from Karen's Mix Media. Today I want to share with you a page that I am making in my Jane Davenport journal. And I've already started off with a background, it's actually watercolour with Jane's Yummy Watercolours. And now I'm just painting in a face and I'm using the Matchmaker paint set. So um, the Matchmaker paint set has actually got three little bottles in it. So it's got the bigger skin tone and then the lighter and darker little bottles. Um, I find the paint is is just awesome, especially when you um, are painting, drawing, using your paint, your pastels over the top. It's just glorious. So I've just picked out a stencil that I'd like to use and a couple of stamps from my Jane Davenport um, Artemology folder. And what I'm going to do is just draw through the um, stencil first with my clutch pencil. I just find it easier to do it in pencil first um, rather than trying to come in with my Epic pen straight away because sometimes my Epic pen, you know, you don't always get a first full draw line. Well, I don't anyway. So I just like to draw it out in pencil first and then and then come back in with, with my Epic pen. So the Epic pen is actually a carbon ink um, pen, so that means it is permanent and waterproof. So you can do whatever you like over the top and it's not going to move on you, which I love. So yeah, it's really great. So now that I've drawn in her eyes and eyebrows and everything, I've decided that I'm going to use some of Jane's yummy um, tattoos here and I'm going to give her some glorious eyelashes. So... I picked out the ones on the bottom, so I'm just going to snip them out and then rub them on with the little um, icy pole stick. And they look so fabulous. I love them. So I'll just do the other eye here. So I've put the, um, the tattoos on first um, so that I can use my pastels and my paint over pens and everything else over the top. Um, Apparently they don't stick so well if you were to put them on last, like over the top of pastels. So that's why I've put them on now. So now I've got my um, pastels out and I'm just um, doing a little bit of, um, you know, skin tone, a bit more skin tone. So the pastels are absolutely beautiful to work with. I love these little black um, batten blenders and um, the... Um, the gold brush there with the mermaid tail. That's absolutely beautiful to, to, to um, for blending the pastels as well. So I'm just giving her a few little highlights, you know, some cheeks and trying to make it a little bit more interesting than just, um, you know, a flat. So now I'm starting on her eyes. So I've got one of Jane's um, paint over pens there and I'm just doing the whites of her eyes and the little... Um, you know, pink bit that's in the corner of your eyes. And I've got some blue paint over pen and some green. These are my two favourites. The green is called Parrotfish and the um, the other one is Mermaid. And I just love how, you know, they work. I've also got some of my Posca pens there as well, just to help help it along a little bit because I really love how, how the Posca pens and the paint over pens just work in together. They're really yummy. So I'm just trying to dry them a little bit as I as I move on. So I have pan, tried to pan in on my video here. Something new for me to have a bit of a try with. So I hope you can um, see a little bit more detail of what I'm trying to do. So with her lips there, I've just used some of the um, drama sticks. Um, I think the colours that I used were Fire Inside and Hot Hands. So they're really nice to work with as well. They're so creamy and so soft. You can, um, you know, like you hardly have to touch them to the paper and you just get so much product onto your paper. I'm just trying to do a little bit of highlight there on her nose. Um, didn't quite work out 100% how I wanted. Um, I think I need to practice a little bit more on noses. It kind of looks a little bit, I don't know. It looks too wide, I think. Anyway, it's not too bad. I'm 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 still only learning, so I'm taking you along on my 
on my little journey here as I slowly improve with my drawing skills and colouring in. So now I've just got my Epic pen again and I'm just giving my little mermaid lady some hair. So you can't quite see it yet, but I am going to come back in with my licensed to quill pen to give it a little bit more. Well, it gives it a lot more definition. It actually looks really cool. I'm quite happy with that. I love that. I love that brush pen. It's so great. It's also waterproof as well. So um, anything that I put over the top is not going to make that pen um, shift. The other one that I've got there is another one of Jane's pens. Um, it's the, um, oh, what's it called? Hot Vinyl Gloss. So I've used a little bit of that as well. So now what I've got is my um, watercolour palette out again and I'm just adding a little bit more to, to my girl's hair, my mermaid. So a bit more of the pink and the purple and the blue. I absolutely love those um, three colours together. I think they're my, my favourite colours to use. I use them a fair bit. So I'll be really sad when those um, colours all run out on me. <laughs> anyway, such is life. So now I've just got my heat gun and I'm just giving a bit of a blast because I'm kind of impatient. So I like to dry things as I go. And another thing I noticed with my heat gun is that it does actually melt the drama stick a little bit. So yeah, not that that's a big deal. So now I'm having another go with a skin with a skin tone. So I'm just trying to darken that up a little bit around around the hairline. Added in a little bit more of that um, gloss. Hot, um, what's it called? It's only new. Hot vinyl gloss pen to around a face and and whatnot, just to help give that little bit of definition. So now I'm going in for another zoom while I do her eyes. I absolutely love how um, my mermaid's eyes turned out. I I'm just so happy with them. I think it's the best that I've done so far. So, again, I've done them all with my pastels because I'm really loving these pastels at the moment. They're so smooth and creamy and the way that they go on the paper, on, especially on top of this matchmaker paint, it's just glorious. I just love it. So adding a few more details into her eyes. A bit more of the um, that green um, paint over pen, the parrotfish. Some more in the little bits of the corners of her eyes. And I've also got a smooth marker there, and that's called Kingfisher. So that really helped as well, made her eyes pop. I loved how that worked out. So I'm now having a go with her eyebrows. So I've tried it with some smooth marker, but it wasn't wasn't quite right. Um, so then I get out the drama stick, and that drama stick is called Falling in Love. It's a beautiful purple colour. Okay, so what am I up to now? Oh yes, I'm just doing some some more on her lips. So I've got that um that hot vinyl pen out again. Doing a little bit more on her eyes, giving her some more yummy eye makeup, giving it a bit of a brush off with that um pastel brush, which actually yeah, smooths and blends everything together. Really beautiful. I'm just drawing in some for um, some more eyelashes because I kind of lost it a little bit under all the pastel and paint pen and whatnot. So I just drew in a few more just to help define those and it looks really awesome. So well, I thought it did anyway. So now having a adding a little bit more colour to her hair. bit more of the um, drama sticks. And the flowers that I've got there is from the Artemology collection from Spellbinders. And I've also got one of Jane's um, hybrid ink pads, um, you know, in the black, just to stamp out my flowers. Um, it's also like a waterproof ink, um, proof, waterproof ink. Ugh spit it out and it's also you can use it with your smooth markers as well so or your alcohol markers and it's not going to affect um the outcome like it's not going to smudge it 
So again, I've got my pastels and I'm having a go at colouring in um, the flowers that I've just popped around my mermaid's neck. Um, so I've got some pinks and some greens. And that set that I'm using is called um, Chilled. And the other set that I've got there is, oops, Lit Up. Sorry, I've just got them here in front of me so I can tell you what the names are. And I've also got my colour sticks. I absolutely love the colour sticks as well. They're so much fun. So I've got Soul Window and Silky Skin. And I'm just using those around the outside of her hair because I'm trying to make her um, pop out a little bit more from the um, background. So I'm just going around around again with some more of those blues and pinks and purples um, just to help define. A little bit and as I dry that off oh you can't quite see it all from my pan zoom it's not exactly in the right spot I did try guys but you can see how good her eyes are I'm um, very yeah I'm super happy with how they come out they look beautiful well they do to me anyway so okay so here we go I'm just smoothing out some more of that um colour that I've used. I've also got my Stabilo All Pencil. It's just a black pencil but when you add it, um, a touch of water with it it's when the magic happens. It just yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And see how it gives that little shadow? I really like how, how it does that. That's really cool. Okay, so now I've got some of my magic ones, which are Jane's colouring in pencils. I'm just adding some extra highlights into her hair. And I really, really loved how um, the pencils worked over the top of the um, the watercolours and the uh, licensed quill pen and just the colours and everything. It, you know, to me, it just helped make, made the hair um, pop just that little bit more. You can't quite see it all because the again the pan things I can't quite get that in the right spot sorry I did try but um yeah I just loved how how that worked with the pencil over the top just add the adds in that extra a bit of definition so yeah I loved it I hope you guys do too I thought it was brilliant the extra light, you know, the light, the lighter blue and the lighter pink and purple. Okay, so now we're going to work on um, the flowers again. So again, I've got my magic ones, and I'm just going around, around them, trying to make them a bit prettier. The pastels were nice, but it wasn't quite cutting it for me. So yeah so now i've got a white drama stick which i've just added some highlights there into her eyes and her lips and i'm coming in again with my color sticks this time onto the flowers so i've just got a wet paintbrush and i'm just um wiping the end of my color stick so i got that little bit of color and then adding um that into the flower and that seemed to work really well and this is where I muck up and I have actually <laughs> I've got it in the pan and zoom so you're going to see it in all its glory so I've used one of the darker colour sticks and um, I was trying to darken up <laughs> a little bit in around the flowers with her skin but it was a bit too much so I had to wipe most of it off and then I've come in with a lighter colour stick just to help hide it a little bit and uh, what a mess Anyway, it, it worked out that it wasn't so bad in the end. So now I've got my pastels again. I'm just adding some more pastels into my flowers. Although I did kind of lose a little bit of the details of my flowers with all the extra bits that I put in over the shop. But they still look pretty. So I was quite happy with those. Just come, coming back in where, you know, with some more pastel where I kind of mucked up with that colour stick. It was a little bit too too much, too dark. I should have used a paintbrush rather than the actual stick straight onto the paper. But anyway, that's okay. We live and learn. So now I'm just looking for another stamp. I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these quote stamps. Um, it's the Wild and Free. 
you know, because she's a mermaid, she lives out in the ocean and she can just do whatever she likes whenever she likes. And so I really like that. So I'm just giving it another quick little dry. And I'm just finding another little stamp here. This is from one of the other um, stamp sets. It's the one with the unicorn. It's a little star. And I've got the white hybrid ink. So I'm just going to add some little stars around my mermaid. And that's one of the last things that I do. So I really hope you've enjoyed my video. I hope you've learnt a little bit, even from my mistakes. Um, I'm really pleased with how my lady turned out. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.